people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because uh bt art box reached out reached out to me and wanted me to showcase their new ombre um press on nails and that's actually what i have on my right hand and i'm going to show you guys how to apply it to my left hand in today's video but i want to show you all the nails that were included and um and all the products used to create this amazing stunning look so if y'all want to see how i got this look definitely keep on watching okay so these are the new press on nails from bt art box again i love their packaging they upgraded it and it is just super nice sleek and modern um so these are patented material btmma 60 seconds quit drying for more health healthier nails and this is what the nails are looking like again i just absolutely love this packaging really nice and sleek um and let's hop into each of the nails here so it does come with how many nails does it come with i think this one comes with 120 nails if i'm not mistaken but one of the things i love about it is that they have uh, 15 different sizes they have 15 different sizes so it's definitely going to be um a length it's definitely going to be a size in here that should fit every nail bed, everything from wide to narrow. And so, yeah, I just think these are absolutely stunning. When they said they came out with the ombre, I was like, oh my God, I can't even wait. Like when I say this is what they look like on, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this look, but this is absolutely stunning. And I love that they're active length. So I'll uh, show you guys here. Um, it fits sidewall to sidewall here on my nail bed and I just I absolutely love their nail tips you all know they're my tried and true um, if whenever I'm going I'm actually getting ready to go out of town right now I have some nice cute nails and they're always my choice they're always my top pick for when I gotta go out of town and when I need some good long wearing nails like these I mean salon quality hello okay anywho um, the nails are super cute and I'm loving how my set turned out so I'm excited to show you guys how I achieved this look but yeah BTR box is a great brand um, this is their system too it's the uh, X coat French tip protecting system. It comes with their builder gel. Let's see. It comes with their top coat, their builder gel, and then their gel glue. So I have shown how to use this system all together in previous videos, and I'm going to be using parts of this system in today's video. But I'm going to be using a different product to actually apply my nails. If you all want to see how these products are in action, I'm going to leave links to detailed tutorials linked down in the description box below. But I want to use a different product to um, adhere these and do a wear test to see how long it lasts. Um, I already know BTR Box; they're tried and true. They do last for up to a month, um, maybe even longer, depending on um, how long you want to wear them. But this system it works is tried and true I have, like i said i have a whole dedicated playlist to all of the bt art box nails that i've ever done worn and all the different application methods it's i've used their uh, nail glue their adhesive tabs their gel glue like this i've used their uh, solid nail glue all of it works all of it you get minimum two weeks up to a month of wear so today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to apply it using a different um product and so yeah y'all let's get into it i'm actually going to be applying my nails with some press on gel that i recently got from enel couture i got this in a recent scoop and all of my unboxings for my scoops are also in a dedicated playlist and i'll leave that down in the description box below if you all want to see all the products that i got but i've been dying to try this and that's what i'm gonna use and that's what i did use and that's what i'm going to use to apply my nails over here so first thing you want to do is you want to go in and size out all of your nail tips i have already done that off camera here and um, again one of the things you want to make sure is that the nails fit sidewall to sidewall um, that's going to give you that most natural look when you apply your nails now as you all can see underneath here this nail is about the same length as my natural nails and so i am going to clip them down so that i have an even better fit but you'll want to go through each individual nail and make sure they're sized out to perfection As you all can see, my nails are in deep need of a manicure. So what you want to do is you want to go through and clip all your nails down to size. And in today's video, I'm going to intentionally try not to use a nail drill. I want to show you guys how to be able to apply these nails without having to use a nail drill. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clip down my nails to size here. I 
Alrighty, so that's what they look like after they've been sized down. Next, you want to go in with a cuticle pusher and just push back your cuticles really quick. And I did just take off a sip uh, maybe like a day or two ago, so my cuticles should still be pretty exposed for the most part. And I am going to be doing a full wear test with this nail set, so you'll want to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Okay, so now that all the, the cuticles have been pushed back, now I'm going to go in with my metal cuticle pusher. It's actually the exact same thing as my wooden cuticle pusher, if you all want to see for comparison's sake, but it's just the metal version of it, okay? And I like this because I use it to um, rough up the surface of my nails. And so if you all um, don't have a nail drill to rough up the surface of your nails, this is a good alternative. Um, I got these off like Amazon Shein, but um, these this is a sanding band here at the end, and um, you'll just push back your cuticles like I just did with my wooden one, but then you'll also go ahead and rough up the surface of your nail. And that's gonna create a better surface for that glue gel to adhere to. And you'll go ahead and do that to all the nails. And I actually find this way of prepping my nails to be a lot quicker than using a nail drill. So this is kind of my go-to now, and I love it. Because it gets right up in that cuticle, and you can just scrape it really quick. I, I like this a lot. Okay, so the surface of the nail is all roughed up. Next, you'll want to go in with a dehydrator. I'm going to be using my swipe from Young Nails. You would apply that to all the nails. And that's going to get rid of that dirt and debris, like so. Make sure you're getting every nook and cranny. Like so. Okay. And then from there, you'll want to go in with your dehydrator. I'm just going to use this dehydrator that I have here. It's really just alcohol in a bottle. You'll apply that to all the nails. Perfect. And then next, you want to go in with your primer. I'm going to go in with my primer from Young Nails. You'll go in and apply that to all the nails. I'm just gonna apply it to, I'm just gonna apply one layer. And now that the primer has been applied, now I'm gonna go in with my press-on gel from Enel Couture. So I really do like the consistency of this product. It is nice and thick as you all can see. Um, so it makes it really nice and easy when you're applying your tips. So with the nail tips as well, oh, I forgot. I want to go in and prime these. Again, my goal is to not have to use a nail drill for this nail set. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to prime the inside of these nail tips with my primer. And that's going to kind of etch the inside of it to give better adhesion. So I'm going to do that really quick. Next, you're going to take your gooseneck lamp and that's what you'll use to adhere the nails. I'm just going to turn it on. I love this one. This is a motion sensor gooseneck lamp. So this is one of my favorites to use. And so what you'll want to do is you'll just take a little bit of the glue on the inside of the nail. Like so. And what I do is I coat the inside of the nail. And then I just put a little bit of excess there at the cuticle. And that's typically enough for me to adhere the entire nail. And I'll get my lamp ready. And I'll just flip it over. And then I'll go straight to the cuticle and then allow the gel to work its way down and then put it underneath the light and then cure. And I'm gonna repeat that process for all of the nails. Alrighty, so this is what that first nail is looking like after it's been applied. That's a really good application here. So now I'm gonna move on to the second nail. And again, you'll just take it here and apply. You'll wanna coat the inside of it, just kinda paint it like so. And then leave just a little bit of excess there at the cuticle. And get your light ready. And then what you want to do is you go in right at the cuticle, like so. Let the gel flow its way down and then cure. 
and you'll hold it underneath the lamp for about 10-15 seconds. Then you'll repeat that process again. So you'll go in with some more of that gel and then you'll just coat the inside of the nail like so. And apply a little bit excess here and then you'll go to the cuticle area like so. Let the product flow its way down and then cure. And if you all were using the uh, BT Art Box nail gel glue, you do the exact same application method. You'll coat the inside of the nail, apply a little bit of excess, and then um, cure it underneath the lamp like I'm doing now. So you really could, I mean, the method, the application technique is the same for any type of nail glue. Um, it's just a matter of which one you want to use. Um, and like I said, for today's video, I'm using the one from Eno Couture, but the one from BT Art Box is also really amazing. So there was a lot of spillage on that one, but I'll show you guys how to clean that up here shortly. And then for the last one here, and this application is really quick and easy. All you'll do is you'll go in and coat the inside of the nail. You don't want to put too much on this one. Just do just a smidge there at the end. Flip it over. Apply it at the cuticle. Let the gel work its way down and then cure. And again, you'll let it cure for about 10, 15 seconds. And after this, I'm gonna go underneath my big lamp for 60 seconds and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like after they've been applied. How cute is this? I just love it. Um, so I did get some spillage on this nail and on this nail here. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it up. The first thing you wanna do is separate the spillage from your skin, like so. You don't want that to stay on there. It's not meant to be on your skin, it's meant to be on your nails. So you just separate it like so. And then I'm gonna do that over here as well, as best I can. And so once it's been separated from your skin, the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and Again, my goal is to not have to use a nail drill for this video. So I'm gonna go in with some nice cuticle nippers here and I'm just gonna clip off that excess gel that spilled. Being careful not to interrupt that pattern of the nail itself. This is perfect. the same thing over here Okay, so like so. And any parts you can't get with the um, nipper, you can always just file it down with the nail file. And me, I like to just get it kind of flush to my skin. I mean, flush to the nail. So I'm gonna go in and do that really quick. Okay, so after you do that, then you wanna go in and just file off these little tips that come with most press-on nails. And I like to just kind of file up to get that little tip off. And I'll do that for all the nails here. And then I'll go ahead and crisp and up my shape just a little bit more, like so.
dust off all the excess. Looking beautiful already, oh my gosh. Next thing you wanna do is just take an alcohol wipe here and go ahead and rub down all the nails with alcohol. Next, just gonna prep the surface for the base and top coat. Perfect, okay. So one of the things, oh, so I am gonna go in with a really simple design. I just put a couple gold hearts on this, on the nails. So I have this little sheet of nail stickers here. And I'm just gonna take the heart and just put it on the nail where I see fit. So I'll do one like right here on the nail. Super cute. And then I'll do one on the middle finger. Let's see, and I'll do it kind of like right here. And that's super cute. I actually want it to be down just a little bit further. It'll let me. Like here. Okay. Super cute, okay. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in with primer on top of all these nails. I don't know, in the past with the fresh tip nails for BT Art Box, I've had issues with peeling. So to combat that, I just go in with the extra layer of primer on all the nails. And that's just to make sure that that builder and base adheres properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all the nails really quick. And then next I am gonna go in with that builder gel from BT Art Box that came in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to all the nails and that's gonna add some strength to it. So you wanna flip your hand for about 10, 15 seconds, then cure for 60. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like. Last thing left to do is to apply top coat. I'm gonna go in with this candy top coat. I've really been enjoying this top coat. It is HEMA free and it works really well. It's a diamond top coat and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna apply this to all the nails and we'll get into the finished look. Flip for 10 seconds, cure for 60. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this ombre set turned out. It's stunning, you guys. It's gorgeous. It looks like I just went to the salon and got my nails done. I absolutely love this look. Um, again, I did use that uh, press-on gel from Enel Couture, so I'll be back after about a week or so, give you guys an update on how these nails are holding up, but they feel like they're on and strong and secure. But yeah, y'all, these nails are super cute. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Would you rock them? And I love the shorter length too. Um, these are perfect for workplace. They're very workplace appropriate. So I've been having to wear my nails kind of short so that I can stay productive at work. My little short nails have been doing me very well, but I am loving how this looks. These are super duper cute. I like literally can't get enough of them. So yeah, I'll be back with an update. And um, yeah, they were super quick, easy to apply. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, happy people, I'm back with a one week update. Well, actually it's been one week and it's been one week and three days. So a 10 day update. This is how the nails are holding up. They are looking still ever so beautiful. I've gotten tons of compliments with these nails. I have traveled and everybody loved this set, including me. I'm obsessed with it right now. Um, there has been absolutely no lifting on any of the nails, so I am loving this Enoch Couture Press-On Gel, and I'm loving these BT Art Box Press-On Nails. Like, they're so good. They feel nice and sturdy. They look like I just went and got a fresh set. Like, I'm absolutely loving it, you guys. Like, it's no lifting at all on any of the fingers. Like, and it's 10 days later, so, um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, the design is holding up mostly for, mostly good for the most part. I did notice up here, um, there's like a, 
I don't know, there's like a bump. So I think there is a little bit of wear and tear at the tip. There's also just ever so slight chipping of the paint um, right here at the tip as well. I did seal my nails and I can still see the top coat from where I sealed it. Um, but like I said, I was traveling, I was banging my hand, hands around a lot. So I'm sure that contributed to some of the wear and tear on the nails. But you know, from a distance, from afar, nobody can tell. They still look fresh, they still look good. And so, yeah, I'm really excited. I am planning on keeping these on for another week or so. Um, I got a really busy schedule, so I'm hoping I keep on keep them on for at least another two weeks, but we'll see how long I end up actually wearing them. The other thing I noticed was that there was a little bit of discoloration. I had bought a brand new pair of black jeans, and I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when you have brand new uh, jeans, like the tips of your nails can change colors to them. Um, and so that happened to me during my trip. I was going to file that color away, but it ended up um, kind of going away on its own uh, in all places except for my thumbnail. So I don't know if y'all can see that it's slightly darker in this corner over here of the nail. And then same thing over here. It's just ever so slightly darker. Um, again, I thought about filing it away here. It's a little bit darker over here it's a little bit darker right i thought about filing it away but then i decided i'm just gonna you know just keep wearing them as is if i feel like the tips are starting to wear a little bit too much i'll just take a file and um crisping it up that way the shape is crisp and you know you don't see any chips or anything and it's nice to see that the tip is only the tips that's wearing away because that's a pretty easy fix so yeah just wanted to pop back in give you guys a 10 day update and um yeah i'll be back probably in another week uh, to show you guys how the nails are continuing to hold up okay happy people i am back with a two week update it's actually been two weeks and four days so really like a two and a half week update but this is how the nails are holding up with that enel couture press on glue as y'all can see the nails do have some new growth here they are growing out quite nicely all right i have not lost any of the nails with the exception of this one which popped off i would say about five days ago and i put it back on with the enel couture super glue and then this one just popped off yesterday but it popped off um when i was getting a package that was really heavy and i almost dropped the package and it like snapped my nail off i think had it not been for that it, the nail would still be on and i'm glad it didn't snatch off my nail with it um but yeah these it's all holding up pretty well there's been no um other ones that have fallen off um, there's very, very, very minimal lifting, um, if any, on the nails. I do feel like they could last another week. Um, let me see. This one here is the one I put back on with the super glue. You know, there's ever, ever so slight lifting, but nothing to where I feel like the nails don't feel loose and they don't feel like they're about to pop off. So we'll see. I might keep these on for another week or I might go ahead and pop them off now. Um, either way, I will try to do a video showing how I remove these nails, um, just so that people can know the safe and proper way to remove nails that are applied with that gel glue. But yeah, I just want to come back, give y'all a quick update. I'm loving how these nails are holding up. I absolutely love BT Artbox nails and I'm really enjoying this press on glue from Enel Couture. I think it's a really good nail adhesive. Um, for making your nails last. I either will be back with another update or I will be popping these bad boys off. Okay, happy people, I am back with a three week update and this is how my nails are holding up. So I wanna show you all new growth. The nails are growing out quite nicely. As you all can see, none of these nails have popped off. On this hand, you see new growth, new growth, new growth. So this middle finger popped off, um, I think after the first week, I put it on with some nail glue and then it just fell off again uh, yesterday. No, this morning actually, yeah, just this morning. So it did um, still last a little bit. And then my thumbnail um, is still intact. So over, oh, and then this thumbnail did pop off, I would say about, about a week ago. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it popped off in my last update and I never actually put it back on. So I've just been walking around with out a thumbnail. Um, but yeah, so this is how the nails are holding up overall. I'm getting ready to go ahead and pop these off. Um, I will say, oh, let me show lifting. There is ever so slight lifting on all of the nails. Oh, this one has a little bit more lifting, slight lifting, more lifting. This one, this one's pretty loose. This one has a little bit of lifting and this one ever so slight lifting. So I am going to try to use my uh, nail debonder to remove these. Um, I'm hoping that it works because I really don't feel like trying to have to soak these off. Since there's some lifting already, I feel like it should get it to come off. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my nails off camera. Oh yeah, it's lifting. Actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop my nails off off camera, but yeah, I just wanted to give you all a three week update. I think that the um, BTR box press on nails, you all know they my tried and true. I absolutely love these press on nails and that, um, what is it? The, and the Enel Couture uh, press on gel lasted a pretty long time. So I definitely think this is a good product as well. Worth it. Let me know what is your favorite press on now and what is your favorite way to apply them. I do want to remind you guys, I do also have a full playlist um, that shows all the different ways and methods, tips and tricks on how I apply press on nails to get them to last, to get them to last for two plus weeks. Um, so I'm going to leave that link down in the description box below. I do also have a discount code with BTR box. I am going to also leave that on the screen as well as in the description box. And yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And and as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope y'all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!